All right, a quick update on the Flex Boss 18, if I can point at it, looking at this stuff backwards in the camera. The Flex Boss 18, you know, everybody saw me trying to do the test. If you did, you can go back and watch the other videos I had on this doing the load testing. But basically, I tried to see if I could get 13 kilowatts out of the Flex Boss 18, and I wasn't able to get there because it's supposed to run continuous with solar, I thought. So some of the verbiage in the specs and on the webpage is a, a little... I guess misleading, I guess you would call it, because it doesn't say everything. But then when you go to the spec sheet, it says it needs to have grid assistance. I guess it just needs grid on there. So if it needs some kind of surge or something, it can just be ready to help it out. So I've ran like some stuff offline and I ran 12,800 watts for about three minutes. And that's with solar coming in and running off a battery and no grid. I don't have grid over here on my building, so I can't really test that feature out. But I talked to EG4 and they said that, yes, to get the 13 kilowatts of continuous output from the Flex Boss 18, you have to have grid input into it. And I guess that's just so, you know, if there's some kind of surge, I'm not exactly sure why, but that's just the way they have it set up. So I guess you won't have that time out at the three minutes if you have that feature, you know, on it. So if you have grid power going in. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be installing the, uh, the Flex Boss 18, the 12K, and the Grid Boss on my house. And I'm be running my house on that instead of the 6,000 XP's. So I'm going to have a lot of installation videos on all of that. But I was just trying to do some testing over here in the building with this. But it's going to be getting taken down here very shortly. So if you're interested in any of them videos, hey, make sure you're subscribed. And, you know, you hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of that stuff. And if you are planning on picking up one of these Flex Boss 18's, starting April the 1st, basically through the end of May, I think, I'm going to have a special discount code save 100 and that's just for the flex boss 18 where you can save 100 dollars on your order off of that thing so hey we usually get a 50 dollars off you know anybody use my links but this time it's gonna be a hundred dollars just for the flex boss 18 and if signature solar has any other promotions going on like free shipping and stuff like that you can still get free shipping as long as you qualify so hey if you want to help out the channel i definitely appreciate it because they are affiliate links i do make a small commission off of that and it's definitely appreciated. So you're not going to want to miss any of them videos. There's going to be a lot of good information. I'm going to be learning along with you guys because I haven't did any grid interactive stuff except at my parents' house where I hooked up their 18K. I haven't did any of that over here at my house. All my stuff's always ran off grid. And I'm definitely looking forward to not having to switch stuff back and forth manually, you know, because I'm going to have the grid boss that's going to do all of that for me. Going to have the grid input. Going to have the inverters going into it. Going to use up some of them smart port features. So we're going to do a lot of testing. It's probably going to take a few weeks of videos for me to get everything installed because I got to work and I can do a little bit at a time. But I don't want you to miss it, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, and thanks for watching.